It's usually said that a new day brings new happiness. For me, it was exactly the opposite. As I was working last night, I suddenly realized that Midjourney was updating the system and taking personalization to a whole new level. Let me tell you, I am very impressed. I'll show you exactly what this means and what happened on the Midjourney website in a moment. When I was browsing Midjourney's website yesterday morning at 3.36 a.m., which was actually today, one thing was unmistakable, apart from short-term loading problems. There was suddenly a red icon with the word new above the word personalize on the far left and the navigation had also shifted. Of course, this immediately caught my attention. The changes relate to two main issues. Firstly, the order of the navigation menu. After a short familiarization phase, you will certainly have internalized this quickly. Secondly, the personalization section has been completely redesigned. At the top, we see the familiar command line for your prompts, including the drop-down function on the right-hand side. Below this is a brief description of Midjourney. Here's the large button for activating or deactivating personalization. If we go further down, we see the option to add a new profile. You can create two types by clicking on Create a Standard Profile or Create a Mood Board. I'll explain both in detail in a moment. You now also have the option of defining more than just one profile. At the beginning, each of you has the so-called Global Profile. In my case, it shows the number 1,500. This reflects my efforts so far to create my own profile. Some of you may have already seen my tutorials on this. After today's update, I now have the option of creating my own profile. To do this, I click on Create Standard Profile. This will take you to the mode you may already be familiar with. Midjourney offers me two completely random images. To reach the next profile level and slowly define your own style, you have to evaluate 40 pairs of pictures. You will see here that Midjourney has now added another profile. We don't need this at the moment. That's why I'm deleting it again for now. Alternatively, you have the option of creating a mood board. Option 1. Select images from your computer and upload them to Midjourney. Option 2. Select images via a link, for example, from an external website. And finally, option 3. Select images from your gallery, i.e. pictures that you have already generated yourself via Midjourney. If you leave this selection, you will see that Midjourney adds a new profile each time. But first, let's take a step back and review the previous journey. If we look back at the first steps in establishing the personalization profile, previously this was level 1 to level 4, then these were the results. By level 4, we had created this series of images together. I then used my global profile again. You can see that it says your global profile to create two more image sequences to check whether anything had already changed. Here on the far right, you can see the definition of the selected profile. Both attempts were successful and generated great results. One of the results was this picture here. I have to be honest, I was really excited about it because it both matches my style and looks really cool. In order to have a certain number of images for a new personalization code, I decided to create more of this image via very strong and very subtle. Then I switched to the personalized section and told Midjourney by assigning these new images. This is my new style code, Faces, Colorful. To bundle the images here, I use the Add from Gallery function to define this style. When we then look at the final results based on the style, Faces, Colorful, it's truly astonishing. These are the new images created using this style. You don't need to choose a random style reference or even write a long, imaginary prompt. A single style code is enough. And this creates images like you can see right here. As you notice, it's exactly the same style. Here, the colors yellow, blue, and red. Then, of course, the way it is implemented. The entire composition is the result of the single image with that woman. Then I thought to myself, friends, what's going on here? By now, it was 3.50 a.m. Spurred on by the first very impressive results, I used the global profile to create further images. One of them was this friend here. 
mind blowing. If it's that easy, why not use this single image to add the next style code? So back to the personalized dashboard. Then select this image via add from gallery and assign a name. I called it mixed color. Then back to the create section to get this series of images. I just entered giraffe and this was the result. Isn't that amazing? Believe me, once you get into the flow, you can't stop. Next, I generated another style for an ongoing project. This is described by the characteristics lava and ash. I'll show you the two samples. These were then used to create images that looked like this by default. In the new images, you can clearly see the cooled lava and traces of red color. The prompt was simply person. Of course, I couldn't stop at this point. It was now 4.30 a.m. In my next attempt, I wanted to keep it simple. So I wrote the following short prompt via mid-journey, Whitewood. For the new style, I once more used the selection via add from gallery. Using the new style, Whitewood, and the prompt, House, these images were then converted. This can be used to generate white rooms or white window facades. If you think about the possibilities, the way is to find a single brilliant image, use it to create a new personalization code, and then implement entire image sequences, all in a consistent way. You no longer have to write long prompts, but there's more. You can also upload your own images from an external hard disk. And that's exactly what I did. I told you that I recently spent some time in Australia. Some of you may know these pictures. This is an image of an old tower taken in Perth at night. The color scheme of these pictures is characterized by a strong yellowish lighting and a very striking blue sky. I then took this reference, it's called Perth Western Australia, and together with the prompt sports car, I got these results. I just added the one word sports car, nothing else. You can't help but be amazed and be tempted to keep defining new styles. But let's take another step back and ask the question, how can you edit and use your style? If you have created a personalization code, you can change the name here. Simply click on it and then change the name from Perth Western Australia to Perth Western Australia Great in the upper section. Now it's adjusted. You also have the option of clicking on View Creations. This means that you can see all the images that you have ever generated with this style in the Organize section. Then there is the function Copy Code. What happens then? You select the code for this style and Midjourney copies it into the command line at the top. You can also use several codes, but that's not really useful because we want to focus on one type of style. So I'll just use Faces Colorful for now. This will initially be a slightly longer sequence of numbers, which will then be converted into a short personalized code when activated. I'll just write the word Castle here as a prompt and press enter. Based on the previously generated woman, this is the result. I have only entered castle. As of today, you are not limited here either. You can create your own personalized profiles using various input methods. I'll also briefly show you exactly how to do this. For example, simply click on the create mood board button. Then click on add from gallery. Then select a picture of your choice. I'll take this one with the face and enter the desired name at the top. You can change it again at any time. I'll call this code cool guy. Then click on back. Done. I haven't looked at the topic of patchwork in detail yet because I can't yet grasp exactly what Midjourney is aiming for. But the topic of personalization is really great. If you don't take part now, you're really missing out. Take a look at it and maybe you'll benefit from using it yourself. You can really speed past the others who aren't taking advantage of this. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel. AI. Now you know.